this video is just pretty much me showing you my son's nursery. Um, just the layout, the decor, the organization, and just everything about it. Alright, this is my son's nursery. I'll start right here. This is obviously a diaper genie. <laughs> This is Bellamy's name, my son's name, on a cute piece of board. Um, I was given this at my baby shower, and it was also the decor at my baby shower. And this is just some wall decals. Um, originally, the theme for his room was sheep, but then eventually I really liked the look of the mountains and the pine trees, so I kind of brought it all together. This right here, the travel often, um, it came with the pack that came with all of these pretty much, and I always felt like it looked a little out of place there, especially since it doesn't really go with the rest of the room's decor, but I made it work, and plus when Bellamy was very little, when I'd be changing him here, he loved, 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 loved looking at this. I don't know if it was just the colors of it or what. This bedroom does not have its own light, so therefore there is a cloud light up there. there. This is Bellamy's changing table. This is the changing pad. This is where I keep his wipes, his lotions, and his diaper cream. And he hasn't had a diaper rash lately, so I haven't used this in a very long time. And then there's also some Germex right there, easily accessible. And then just the diaper genie right there next to it. And then this is what I felt like was a good spot for his laundry basket, considering this is where he gets dressed. And then I got this with some free sample thing from Target, and I keep his binkies in there that he doesn't even use. Down here is where I keep his diapers. He needs more. Here's where I store his wipes and the diaper pal, diaper genie refills. Um, these are just travel size soaps and lotions and I keep them back there but I was looking for something in them like earlier. This is where his hairbrush goes just, this is where his hairbrush goes just because I don't know where else to put it but this is really just for his socks. Over here at the bottom of the changing table we have an elephant with some blocks in it. And then Bellamy's main theme in his bedroom is sheep. So at his baby shower, I was given quite a bit of sheep. This one, I think, is my favorite sheep. So next to his laundry and his crib, I have this tote right here with the sheep on it. And this is just where all his blankets have been. And originally, where you see that blue strip, that was actually pink. But I didn't realize it was pink when I bought it, so I painted it blue. Then I got these baskets from Target. Um, I got these off of Amazon. I just think they're so cute. Some of them look like watermelon slices though. And then the rest are just stuffed animals for Bellamy that we were either given or I just had for a while and I would have just given rid of. So I just put it in his room instead. This, he was like a month old or somewhere along those lines and Miguel and I made him a bear from Build-A-Bear so it's cute. Over here, we have Bellamy's cute little crib. This is his buddy. Um, I've seen on KK and Baby J's vlogs that they have a raccoonie for Landon. And I just thought that was so good to have something for their baby to be attached to. So I decided to get Bellamy something and I hope that he'd form attachments so it would make it easier for him during nap times and during bedtime. But so far we're not the biggest we're not the biggest fan of this thingy. So if it's cute. And then this is Bellamy's. What is this thing called? Oh my gosh, I can't think of the name for it at the moment, but this is Bellamy's thingy. Um, I, I know, I know the name. It will come back to me as soon as I'm done filming this. I already know it. But um, we got this because it has a sheep on it. And then, like I said, eventually I really liked the mountains and the pine trees, and I feel like this actually goes with the rest of the thing. And then this painting, Miguel painted, if you did not know, Miguel is an artist. And then on the other side of Bellamy's crib, we have this swaddle sheep that makes white noises or music at night. Um, it used to be helpful, but now it runs out of batteries way too quickly for it to be, ha to be helpful. I mean, like, it still plays music and everything, but 
the music just sounds a little scary because the batteries always sound dead. And then I like this let's get lost thing here, wall decal, so that's there. I got this from Target, and it is just so cute. I love it. I never, like, use it, but it's beautiful, like, and it turns on. I just love this thing. And it has a three-hour timer, too, if you feel like ever turning it on. And then this is something Miguel and I painted together for Bellamy's room, and it's just so cute. And Miguel made the little stars. I cut out all the, um... Um, well, how would I put this? I cut out all the little papers to be glued onto it, and then I wrote this, and that's why that doesn't look that great. Miguel's the true artist, not me. And then over here, we just have a bunch of pillows and stuffed animals. This blanket there was given to me for Bellamy at the hospital. This is just like, like a play mat, I guess. You get that at Target. And then those are just some stuffed animals from Christmas, that one's from Easter, and then I got him a few pillows off of Amazon because I just felt like this could be a cute little pillowy nook. And then that giant dog was a birthday gift to me a while ago for, um, I wanted a dog for a long time, but I just, I'm not ready for a dog, so, um, a friend gave me that. And my brother, a brother and my friend gave me that. And then that ran panda was when I went to the zoo with Miguel. Now that was before Bellamy was born. But yeah, a few of these are stuffed animals I had but just couldn't like get rid of but needed a spot for them. So they're Bellamy's now. And then right here, it clashes with the whole room. But Miguel's a big Star Wars fan and he needed more room for his toys. So we just got some toys for days in here. And then the fire truck. And then here's his window with some blue curtains. The other one is like that too. Inside the window there's a thank you and that's a, I think a baby sheep or a female sheep. I don't know. But that was at my baby shower too. And then when we get over here, this right here was also from my baby shower and it's just so cute. I couldn't get rid of it. And then... This, my grandma's friend, had made for Bellamy, and that's also super cute. This, I actually bought from Toys R Us within the last month, but it's just so cute I had to get it. And it was like half off, so steal. And those are just a few more sheep. This is Bellamy's humidifier. He has eczema, so we try to use that as often as we can to help him. And that's just a fan because it gets really hot in this room. Yeah, it gets really hot in his room because the sun faces his room and it's also upstairs, so it just gets a little too toasty. And then this is just filled with books. At the moment, I have most of the paperbacks up here and then the board books, well, paper, like the paper books are up here. The board books are down here because he started being able to take them out and this has nothing in it because I don't know what to put in it yet. And this one's just got Legos in it pretty much and like two little basketballs and a fire truck. And maybe I should do a slow-mo of Ben Lamy's book collection. I don't know. This is Bellamy's rocking chair. We're actually going to get a new one because Somehow, even though we've had this rocking chair for seven months, it does not rock anymore. This is a blanket that I got from Target. It does not get used, but it's just so cute, and I thought it went with this room so well. Up here, above the door into Bellamy's room, we got little pine trees. Down here, down here, we got some pine trees and mountains. Right here, Miguel painted this for Bellamy. Um, he wants to go back and make an outline with the sheep, though. This was a Christmas gift from my brother to Bellamy, and this is just some more books. Bellamy's closet has two doors for some reason, but um, this is all the clothes as in Bellamy's size right now, and I actually ended up taking like half of this down, but my grandma just recently got him a lot more clothes, so he just gets a lot of clothes. And over here, these are all his pants, and I just got them organized by month. So these two are 12 month. No. These two are 18 month pants, and they go to 24 months, and 2T, and then 3T, and I think that's as far as I got right now. But um, actually, can someone please let me know if 24 months and 2T is the same size or not? Because I'm clueless, and I don't think they are. 
I mean, I think they are, but then I think I've also been told they're not, but I just don't know. Over here, in like the crooks of Bellamy's closet, there's a random swim diaper and his swing, and it's been taken apart so it could fit in there. We just don't have room for it in storage at the moment. Those are some shoes I got him for when he's a bigger boy. Over there is just some things we don't use anymore. There's some swim diapers. We have um, winter items for this winter. I got some things on clearance, so yeah. And then over here, this is just some hats he wears now, and a few sneakers are in there too. And this thing is his um, sheets, and yeah, just sheets. And this is Bellamy's last winter gear, like last winter hats and stuff. Moving on to the other side here. Right here we have um, some foam, what do you call this? Some A foam plane mat, I'm not sure what you call it. But anyways, it was downstairs, but then I decided to move things around and eventually this will be used again. And then this is just some, this is just future clothing for Bellamy on this side. And they're in order from 24 to 2T to 3T to 4T to 5T. I don't know how far they go up at the moment. And, and this is currently the box holding his new diapers. And over there is his neck pillow with a sheep on it. Here's one more look at the bedroom. <laughs> 